Welcome back to Views with Hughes, your Jennifer News. This is Jerome Hughes, and if you haven't done so already, go ahead, subscribe to the channel, click the bell notification, so that way you'll be notified of future uploads and updates. So, from the Snow White live action remake, or as I call it, the Full White um, live action remake, we saw over the weekend that many people reported that the the photos from the sets has been leaked and then you know it's all about diversity and then disney released out there you know that's fake it's not real well now we got some new news this morning where turn out they're actually real okay so it turns out that this is real these are like the kind of characters that they're actually going to have in a live action remake that's going to be released soon all right so that simply means that Disney basically reversed this position on the authenticity of the photos featuring Snow White's new companions, previously known as the Seven Dwarfs, after at first dismissing them as fake. Okay, now the correction issued by the company was deemed a, quote, misunderstanding by a certain news outlet. Now, the Daily Mail published an article on Friday by offering a behind-the-scenes glimpse into Disney's live-action adaptation of the beloved film. Now, the publication accused Disney of transforming the iconic characters into magical creatures for the sake of political correctness. Now, conservatives over the weekend expressed their displeasure. Well, it's not just conservatives, but many people out there who just don't want anything to be woke in general. You know, that includes some Democrats, people on the right, as well as those who are apolitical or even in the middle. All right. Now, with that being said or having been said, it's. Like David, we basically a lot of people expressed their displeasure with the images that came from the movie, as reported by the Daily Beast. But a Disney representative informed them that the photos were indeed fake. Now Disney disputed their authenticity and stated their intention to requ request a correction from the Daily Mail. Now, according to that spokesperson, the photos are fake and not from our production. We are currently trying to have the Daily Mail issue a correction, but. We also then see that Disney subsequently retracted its original statement and confirmed that the photos did originate from their production, but they're stating that they're not official. So in other words, they went from saying that they're fake, you know, and then there was even more backlash. So they, they, they try to die down for the backlash only to reveal that they're real, but they're not the official set photos. I mean, I could have sworn that it now, if I if, and if my mistake, correct me. Even though they're re they're not official, that still means that they're real. And with the kind of characters that we see here, you know, the type of people who are the actors and everything. Like, what exactly do they mean? Do they mean that these are the actual character uh, actors playing them? Are these the type of characters that they're going to have the, as the replace the seven dwarfs, or is it just you know? what they what they have as an exercise going through you know i'm not sure but they got a lot to answer for right now because the photos have been leaked out there to the public and everybody's going crazy all right even mocking them to a certain extent now like i said um they're not they say that you know they're real they're from the production although they're not considered official now the daily beast did amend this article to reflect this change with what according to the editor's note the story has been updated to reflect that the studio later said the photos were from the production but were not official photos now disney did explain that it altered the portrayal of the dwarfs in order to avoid reinforcing stereotypes from the original animated film vis-a-vis -vis dwarves Okay, as stated in the Hollywood Reporter statement. Now, the company also mentioned that the consulting with members of the dwarfism community regarding these characters, the decision to refer them as to them as magical creatures instead of seven dwarfs was made public by Disney in January 2022. Following the criticism from actor Peter Dinklage, who has dwarfism and appeared in Game of Thrones, where he took issues with um, Disney having them as the um characters saying to avoid reinforcing stereotypes in from the original film this coming from diff, from disney we are taking a different approach with these seven characters and have been consulting with members of the dwarfism community we look forward to sharing more as the film heads into production after a lengthy development period a disney spokesperson had previously conveyed to the hollywood reporter well, that's all handy dandy and everything, but that's still gonna not that still mean that the movie's gonna flop. 
You know, it's not going to save the movie from the criticism, from the um, attention that it's about to get, the negative attention and everything, because, yes, it's going to be negative. I'm calling it negative. But guess what? It's realistic attention because of the fact that the public don't want, it, want that. They're not only tired of the Disney remakes, but they're also tired of Disney having to go ahead and make live action remakes to reflect the current political culture in the U.S. or even the Western world, period. Okay. Everyone's mocking this, you know, fans. Um, oh, I'm talking OG fans, some of the new fans, YouTubers, so on and so forth. Okay, this is going to be another Disney flop. I'm telling you all that right now because of the fact that you know they don't have a good track or they a good track of with the things that they've put out there when it comes to the movies, especially live action remakes. Okay, so Bob Iger who contract has been extended to 2026 and everything he has a lot to um to work on you know because of the fact that not only does um no one want his position and but he's claiming that you know he wants he has a lot of work to do but in reality he's going to go ahead and try to correct his legacy unless y'all know this folks Snow White, the re live action re remake or as I call it, the full white live action remake it's going to make his legacy even worse you know, it's really going to make his legacy even worse to the point where the people are actually going to avoid going to the movies. More YouTube is going to go see the movie and then share the spoiler details online. So that way we won't have to see it. OK, so let me know your thoughts about this in the comments below. Let me know one more wrong in the video. Also, be sure if you have any additional thoughts to this particular topic that I've discussed Go ahead and leave that in the comments below as well. Also, if you enjoy what I shared in the video, go ahead and smash the like button and share far wide across social media. And if you haven't done so already, you enjoyed all the content I put out there, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and click the bell notification so that way you'll be notified of future uploads and updates. Until then, peace.